hello everyone in this video let us take a look at uh, customer permissions and uh, customer notifications on jira service desk on cloud so i have been uh, trying to make uh, these videos where i'm uh, trying to do a comparison of jira service desk on server and of course jira service desk on cloud and i have two different playlists and as i mentioned uh, in my previous videos in the same playlist for uh, jira service desk for cloud i will be creating a separate video for cloud wherever i find uh, anything different uh, today let us take a look at the customer permissions and customer notifications because uh, uh, these two things are uh, or these two features can be different on cloud and uh, i just want to show you just to um, give you some comfort uh, whether uh, it is uh, entirely different slightly different or maybe same so when you look at your jira service desk uh, project on cloud you can go to your uh, project settings and uh, if you take a look at your uh, customer permissions you can uh, see and you can uh, try to compare it with your server version where i also explained uh, the uh, the feature where you can configure the permission so right now if i look at uh, the customer permissions it looks uh, same as the server version so you have the option here who can access the portal and send request to it service desk project so right now it says uh, customers I mean, we have two options: customers, customers, uh, my team adds to the project, or anyone can send a request. So basically, uh, uh, right now it is uh, anyone. So people can um, uh, they can uh, sign up, and it says that to allow people with accounts on uh, this uh, portal to 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 send request, change the global settings. So we can take a look at the global settings, but uh, uh, the other set of uh, options here says that who can customers share request with so customers can also share the uh, tickets either within their organization so the first option is uh, other customers in their organization uh, this allows this option allows them to search for customers in their organization the second option is any customer in the project by manually entering uh, an email address or any customer or organization by searching this project this option allows them to search all customers so uh, maybe you don't really want this uh, i think the first option is uh, desirable where uh, you just want to limit it within their organization so if you go back to the uh, global uh, configurations we have right now configured i mean this is by default that customers can create their account uh, so this is of course right now enabled but you can also disable it if you think you want to restrict the uh, yeah. customer list uh, so customer permissions overall looks more or less same if i do a comparison with the server version let us take a look at uh, the customer notifications and uh, customer notifications is something that uh, you can uh, configure jira service test comes with uh, some notifications uh, out of the box uh, and these notifications are triggered for the customer so whenever we are saying so if we, if you look at this section here customer notification we are talking about uh, notifications that will be sent to the customer and uh, if you go to your global configurations of uh, jira service desk you have the option to have this uh, notifications uh, where it says should customers receive jira notifications so this is something that you want to uh, maybe select as no because you don't really want customers to receive jira notifications so make sure this is no otherwise your customers uh, will be uh, spammed with uh, so many emails and when you go back to your customer notifications these customer notifications uh, are triggered when you do something let us say when you invite a customer when you request when you when you uh, when you create a new request when you add a comment or maybe when you resolve a ticket 
so these are the notifications and for each and every for each and every notification you can take a look at uh, uh, the email content which is of course like a template where you can of course modify it if you uh, think you want to have your own you can disable this uh, notification by simply checking this uh, enable checkbox you can disable it or you can also create uh, or you can also create your own custom notifications by defining your own uh, automation rule so this is uh, this slight this is slightly different as compared to uh, the server version i mean the concept is same but uh, the way you configure the ui is slightly different so let us say you want uh, to create uh, a custom notification uh, you can select a trigger so let us say a trigger is uh, maybe uh, something like as sla time remaining and uh, you can uh, configure this you can then uh, define uh, what to do uh, you want to send an email so you can uh, see here that uh, uh, if you add this notification an email will be sent now when you look at the email uh, you can send this email to maybe the customer or maybe the uh, reporter which is of course customer but customers involved is basically this is something that will come into picture when you share the tickets when your customers share the ticket so you always have the option to create your own uh, custom uh, notification maybe you want to tweak it a bit uh, based on a specific requirement so overall i think uh, the way jira service desk works i'm sure there are differences uh, slight differences here and there but so far if you do a comparison of my jira service desk uh, playlist with my jira uh, service desk playlist on cloud uh, there is no major difference the jira service desk on cloud playlist uh, will only have videos uh, that are specific to cloud version of jira so if you want to learn how jira service desk works you can follow my service desk uh, server playlist and of, of course keep an eye on uh, those specific features that are unique for or maybe that are different on cloud so um i hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, you learned something new today thank you very much